Hey, hi, how's it going? Um, is this your, if it's your first time watching, uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, if you like this video, please hit subscribe. And if you want to get notifications, please be aware of there's a little bell that you can click on that you can get uh, on-screen notifications to let you know when I upload a new video. Um, so I'm Biba Girl. Uh, I have my own makeup business as well, doing makeup as well as selling makeup. And then I also do a lot of fun shopping hauls and talk about saving money and talk about a whole bunch of other pop culture stuff and fashion and plus size stuff. So anyway, uh, if you're returning to my channel, thanks for returning. So today I'm going to do a home goods haul. I have not, I have to admit this, I had never, ever, ever set foot into a home goods before, okay? Now I've been at TJ Maxx before and I knew they were under the same like corporate umbrella as well as Marshalls and all that. And so I knew it was gonna be kind of like a mix and I'd always seen it from like the outside uh, but I had no idea, no idea of what, what was going to be, what I was going to find when I was there. And I went with my girlfriend who, she goes to HomeGoods all the time. So, I mean, it, we're talking everything from gourmet foods to kitchen supplies to, uh, I thought it was just a lot of going to be decorative pillows and sheets and a little bit of here and there, but I had no idea. I mean, there's even toys there. There's furniture there. There's some Bath and Body stuff, um, lots of candles. I mean, but anything you ever wanted to find, the only thing that I kind of was not happy with, because right now there's certain trends in decor, and there was so much of what the trends are now. It wasn't like a mix of everything. It was just a mix of what's on trend. So, uh, and you know, I'm one of these people, I know what I'm looking for. So, um, it's in terms of our home and I've actually done like estate sales and I've been doing all kinds of vintage shopping and even just like Goodwill type stuff and, um, you know, just random, just random places, uh, you know, everything from Target and, and just random things. Uh, and that's actually been giving me more of my eclectic mix for, uh, uh, you know, home decor. So she was actually doing more home decor stuff, but then, but she also like actually uses it as like a supplement to doing gourmet grocery shopping, which I had no idea that was there. So anyway, I'm going to go over what I bought. Um, uh, I, I was, I was amazed at what I was able to get because I, I was going in thinking I was going to look at rugs, and I did look at rugs, but that wasn't, I ended up like going through so much of the rest of the store and seeing a lot of cute things throughout the store, and I, so I'm just going to show you uh, what, what I got. So, first of all, we went to the gourmet section, and <laughs> I got this huge bag of pasta for, how much was this? $3.99. $3.99, like look at all that. Okay, so... Uh, this is, uh, you know, what does it say? It's, it's, it's an Italian brand of pasta. I mean, there were so many different kinds of pasta. So many different designs and curls and colors and, and swirls. And <laughs> it was crazy. It was just crazy. And it was so much fun. Okay, so another thing I got was my um, organic coconut sugar. So I thought that would be like, it's like a healthy alternative. And this was something. It looks like it was originally $9.99, marked down to $3. So I thought that looked like pretty good, like um, suitable for vegetarians and vegans, source of calcium, unrefined, no coloring. Uh, from Groovy Food, the Groovy Food Company, you know. So I was just like, okay, so that's, that's, that's really fun, you know. Um, I thought I would like to try... Uh, you know, I'll try anything, you know, I'm, I'm not going, I'm, I'm doing everything in moderation. I'm not, tr I'm not going, uh, I've tried every special, every kind of weird diet there is, or not even weird diet. I've tried every lifestyle change and everything. And, and I'm just trying to be balanced and, you know, I'm just trying to do what, you know, what, what works and get back into certain things. Okay. So what did they, they specially wrap something and I can't even remember what the, <laughs> I can't even remember what this is, but I'm just going to see what this is. Um, oh, okay. Okay. So they had spices. This is paprika. This is good. I mean, if you go to like the grocery store for like 
McCormick or even some of these things, it can be like six dollars for like a tiny little little thing. But I was like, wow, this is uh, Van Spice's sweet Spanish paprika. So I use paprika a lot in my cooking. It's one of my like go tos that even if I'm just boiling some broccoli, I'll throw in a little paprika, a little pepper, and a little sometimes a little onion powder, or even just chopped onions and and you know good broccoli, you know, and and I put paprika on chicken. I just, you know I use it a lot. So um, and they, they were nice enough by wrapping. Uh, I was really impressed with the people who work there because like a lot of stores they just throw everything randomly in a bag but this and I, I did get another spice thing so um yes oh and they they wrap these up really nicely i mean it, it's it, you know that way things don't get banged around and and you know it's um handled with care you know so okay so the other thing i got since i was all kind of like with that pasta um, I had run out of Italian seasoning for when I do Italian cooking, and this is um, a Sicilian. It just says Sicilian, Victoria Taylor seasoning, and it's just called Sicilian. Uh, it was four ninety nine. Oh, the dog's going crazy for some reason. It's okay. Hippo. It's all right. I think it's a mailman, but anyway, so this is a, good, a nice big thing of, um, and you compare it to this one, you know, really good size. I've spent almost, you know, I bought big things of Italian seasoning, but uh, I, it's not one of the things that I do all the time, so it's not worth me buying it's some huge jar that's going to take up a lot of space. But I thought this was this was a good size, so four ninety nine, good good deal for the price. Um, and you know, I mean, you could buy. Expensive seasoning, but it's you know it's like <sighs> to get to get a nice deal on something like that. Now this is the thing. Okay, if you've ever read The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, you know all about Turkish delight and that whole thing. Now we live near. We live in a place that has la lamp posts everywhere, and there's even a, an area where like these like. Buildings come together, and there's like a little courtyard with a lamppost. So, <laughs> so they actually had Turkish delight there. Okay, Turkish delight. The Turkish delight was two ninety nine. Says pistachio, hazelnut, almond, and walnut. Turkish delight. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go down and add a, like Instagram photo or something, and um, and also put it on other pages, but. Take a picture. I'm the only reason why I bought this, but I'm sure it tastes good too. But the main reason why I bought this is so I could take a picture by that lamppost and in the winter time. And, <laughs> and when, it, especially when it's like really, really long, cold winter, and I'll post like a picture of this Turkish delight by that lamppost in the snow, and I'll say like always winter but never christmas you know well anyway that's my my sense of humor so hopefully you get it okay now the next thing i got was uh this candy corn hand wash and i was so i don't know if you i talked about it in that that bath and body works video that i did where i was talking about that um that 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 hand wash that the hand lotion that I love well, actually just a, it's a more of like a, uh, anywhere lotion body lotion I think it was that was shaped like shaped like a candy corn and was orange and then yellow and then cream colored at the top and had glitter and it smelled like candy corn I'm so I'm so wanting that to come back please please Bath and Body Works bring that back but anyway they had this at Home Goods and it's candy corn and this is hand wash and oh my God it smells so good. It just right away makes you think of it take, takes you back to like Halloween and those jar those handfuls of candy corn and all, you know just all that all that good memories associated with that that scent. Okay, so I got two oh, oh turmeric. Okay, here's another thing. Look at this whole pouch of two oh the candy corn before I get to the, this candy corn hand wash was three ninety nine. This whole thing of turmeric. Now keep in mind those little McCormick things when you buy spices for for cooking is sometimes those those little things are like six, seven, eight dollars. Look at this whole thing of turmeric. Okay, three ninety nine for this whole. I mean, giant. I mean, this is like three of those things put together right there. Okay, so 
Then I did coffee. I, I if you know me, um, I love uh, liquors, li liquor, <laughs> liquor, uh, liqueurs, like coffee liqueur. Uh, Kahlua is one of my favorites. And I just recently started to get back into coffee again. I went years and years where I wasn't a coffee drinker. Yes, I know. Isn't that amazing? But I'm not, I don't even drink coffee in the morning. I do, I do coffee like after dinner if I want like that kind of like warmth and a little bit of sweetness. Uh, so, and I, and I might use that, uh, coconut, that coconut sugar, but, uh, but this is Kahlua flavored coffee and this was $5.99. $5.99, this is cheaper than the Starbucks. If you buy Starbucks, then, you know, sometimes they have Starbucks, they sell some Starbucks coffee at the grocery store and that's six, seven, eight, nine dollars. This whole thing of Kahlua, a Kahlua flavored coffee was $5.99. So then, Here's a bigger bag, though. A bigger bag. I don't know. She's still going off about something. Um, a bigger bag. And this is Kona coffee. And I've always wanted to try Hawaiian. This is Hawaiian gold. Um, uh, yeah, Hawaiian gold brand of Kona coffee gourmet blend. So I thought that'd be fun. And this was seven ninety nine. But, you know, to me, I'm like, look at how much good coffee. I mean, and you think about... This one thing is probably about the cost of one frappuccino, <laughs> and then this one thing is like the cost of like two cups of coffee at Starbucks, and you're getting all this and fun flavors. So, and then okay, oh, she's still going. Pippa, stop! Stop! It's okay. <clears throat> she's just gonna keep barking until she stops barking. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, God, these smell so good. These are pumpkin candles, creamy pumpkin. This is the time of year I invest in candles because it's the year. This is the time of, of going into fall. It's when they put all the pumpkin stuff out. This is, I like pumpkin. I like vanilla. I like the hazelnut. I love all those warm things. So I got these pumpkin candles for all these votives. Tall, nice. Look at, look, look, look. Uh, four ninety nine. So that that's a good deal. And then last but not least, because I, I'm really still in my... Uh, pink flamingo kick is a lovely like notebook with pink flamingos this was $4.99 by clementine paper incorporated um and it's it's i thought it was a planner but it's just all blanks but there it is lined so i actually may put some tabs on here and actually turn it into a planner because uh i really need that for my uh you know calls my follow-up calls my phone calls uh I, i'm sort of like you know you can use the phone you know, and you can get asked for the phone, but the, to me, there's nothing like seeing it in print and being actually able to check it off the to-do list. So, um, you know, so I thought this was good to have. So anyway, all of this was, came to five, uh, $50.97. So I think that's a great deal because we've got, I mean, how many cups of coffee are we going to have? The Turkish Delight, the pasta, the turmeric. I mean, so many things. This thing of sugar, this is going to last me, I don't know, six months at least. And, um, you know, I'm very excited for that. So, all righty. Well, well, thanks for joining me. You know, this is just a quick video. Uh, I still got another another, another thing to film. I'm going to do my boxy charm, and, uh, and I've got another one planned for tomorrow. So, uh, hope to see you soon and thanks so much for joining me and please share this video with your friends uh, and family or people who, who just like shopping or people who like products and or somebody who just might need a smile. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.